are back in the bedroom. And the bed is complete as you saw, and it's all made today. It's been deep cleaned, the sheets are all changed, the waterproof mattress cover got washed, and it got a good spritz with Odoban, which surprisingly helps a lot um, to kill like musty odors and things like that. I'm really waiting for spring to actually occur here <laughs> so I can open up all the windows and let some fresh air in. I've been doing it periodically but it gets cold in here very quickly so I don't get the chance to leave them open very long. But I'm going to show you the things that need attention in here because from the surface, if you don't look too close, it appears to be very clean in here. But if you know the truth, you know that it's really not. <laughs> and if you know how much I dislike vacuuming and uh, dusting, then you'll know that there's a lot of dust and cat hair hiding. So I'm going to start with the closet once I show you everything. Um, I, the Friday's video, the video before this one, was me unboxing the hangers that I got. Some of the hangers that I got. Let me show you the other hangers that I got. So you saw this hanger. These are for pants and it holds five and you get like put it this way to put them on there and then when you're done putting them on you let it go and it takes up a lot less space. Well, I also got these hangers at TJ Maxx. They were on clearance for $8 and there's 10 of them in the pack. That can hold a shirt and they have clips for skirts. So that's where all of my church outfits are going to go. I don't think I have 10 so I may share some with my husband if I need to. But I feel like this is going to help keep my closet, well you'll see in just a second. It, I don't have a lot of clothes, but because they're all in the, uh, just, you know, on single hangers, it makes it look like my closet is just jam-packed full. So. I really don't have very much left in there, but just the plethora of hangers and hanging one individual item and the fact that I don't really have drawers except for my like underwear and stuff like that, um, yeah, it makes my closet look ridiculously packed full. <clears throat> so let me take down the camera, kind of show you what I've got going on. And then I will intersperse little clips of me cleaning and then show you the grand reveal of what I managed to accomplish. It's going to be a much bigger undertaking than the bathroom because, well, this is a much bigger room. <laughs> so let's get started. All right, here is the before of the closet. As you can see, like, all of these are just skirts and pants and the type of hangers that they're on, they're on the clippy hangers, they just take up a ton of space and then they could really go with the shirts that go with them. Yeah, it's just a lot of unnecessary, like, space and then I have a bunch of pants 
on the same hangers because again, I don't have space. There's like three pairs of pants on this one. This one did have three pairs, but I'm wearing, I already wore two of them. And then I also have scarves right here. And then on my husband's side, his problem is mostly all of these jeans. And then they end up down here, even though they're not dirty, because they, if we put them all up here, they fill up this space and create a mess. But then he's also got a whole bunch of stuff over here. I've also got a whole bunch of stuff over here since I cleaned out the laundry room. That's all his fishing stuff. And then just laundry. So there's that. And then you have to come down here to see the rest of it. Can you see it? It is dust and cat hair and dirty baseboards. And it's all over the place. Oh, here. Lots of cat hair. And the door has scuffs because when it's windy, we put my 15 pound weight in front of it. And it's also got like, I don't know, some kind of blue mark. The door itself isn't too bad, but somehow the door frame gets ridiculously dirty and I'm not that tall. Like, I have no reason. <laughs> I can't even touch up that high. But you can see that there's dirt up there. I don't know where it comes from or why it's up there because I don't spend very much time reaching up here. So I'm gonna see if I can get a magic eraser out and take care of that. But there's dust and dirt behind the door because I really never clean back here. Those scuffs are from the weight Hitting it, so I'm going to take the magic eraser to that and see if that helps. I'll have to take my get my vacuum attachment out. And then we have my husband's pull up bar sitting here. More dust and dirt. I still have a bunch of signs sitting here, including my husband's clay thrower. This is Frodo's little uh, scratching thing that he loves, and it leaves little um, cardboard doodles there. This ball I need to deflate and put it back down because I never use it. I was sitting on it at my desk for a while, but it's, it won't inflate all the way, so it's not very comfortable. It just makes my back hurt. Those pillows need to go in a vacuum seal bag and go away. That is my knitting stuff. This, of course, is the rowing machine that we want to use. It needs to go in the living room, though. And then I have a lot of dust back here. My air filter that I still have not gotten a filter for. And it has a ton of dust. Also, my window, Frodo likes to sit up here, so it has a lot of um, just muck from Frodo sitting up here. And by my side of the bed, there is dust and bits of paper. I don't know where those come from, probably tissues. And then... I have to pick up, these are my socks that I wear at night when I get cold. They usually go in this little basket under my nightstand. You can see how dusty my nightstand is. And then I have some plugs back here. This is my charger for my watch and a hair tie that needs to go back in the bathroom. 
And on my nightstand, I have some tissues that I wipe. I've been filling this with water and using it at night as a humidifier. And I use the tissues to wipe up the water. These I meant to hang up, but have not done so. You can see all of my dust. I need to dust off my crystals and my little mirror and just generally wipe down my nightstand. I need to wipe down my lamp and the lampshade. It is also dusty. It's just dusty. Dusty, dusty over here. Got a little, uh, like, knocking. I don't think that'll come off. It feels like it's in the paint. Yeah, it looks like something scraped across the wall at some point. I don't know. I still have not done that um, project for my headboard. And if I come over to this side, down here, my husband's side of the his little nightstand is a dusty mess and he just keeps his books up here and his reading lights and then back here is all of his camping stuff which I need to contain in maybe I'll go get one of those little bins and put it all in there because right now it's all over the floor and then his foam roller and my yoga mat are back there. So that's the work that I have cut out for me right now. I'm going to start with my clothes. Um, getting those somewhat organized. And then, I don't know, I'll probably dust everything and then take down that yoga ball put the pillows away, find a place for those signs. I don't know. We'll see. You, you just have to come along for the ride, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's get these clothes taken care of.
Oh, where are you, friends? I finished. I finished it. Most of it. I have not gotten the yoga ball or the pillows put away because I'm just... I'm done, and I can't think of a place to put them, so they're gonna stay there for right now. Let me show you what I got done. Uh, first of all, that Myers, Mrs. Myers, is that what it is? Whatever. The pear scent. No, it doesn't smell like pear to me. It smells kind of peppery, and I don't really like it very much. But anyway, I'll end up using it because, you know, I don't like wasting things that I paid for, so... Uh, if you're looking for a pear scent, and I love pear scent, that is not it. <laughs> but it's called pear tree, so maybe it smells like a pear tree, which I've never smelled. Maybe pear trees smell peppery? I don't know. Anyway, let me show you what I accomplished. Alright, that is my bedside table I finally after a year and a half put up the things that have been sitting on my dresser or on my nightstand for a year and a half I organized my I took out some of the socks that were in there because I only really wear the pair that's on top so now there's just those and I cleaned over here vacuumed cleaned the baseboards there's no more Froda fur. The windowsill is clean until it gets warmer and we start opening the window and then dust and Froda will be up there looking outside. Um, got all the dust and stuff here, cleaned off the top and sides of the air purifier. I just need to get a uh, thing. <laughs> I moved all of this and although the penny is still there. I moved this and it had not been moved since uh, we moved in. I haven't moved these guys yet because I still need to find a space for them but this is all clean. All clean. I couldn't get all of the marks off but it looks a lot better than it did. Um, I gave this a wipe down. It looks a lot better than it did. All of the hair is gone from over here. There's paint on the floor. The hair was covering it up. It was from when they painted the baseboards originally, I guess. So that is all clean. My husband's side is all clean. That's a ding that you see that white spot down there. And then I cleaned off his um, nightstand. Oh, let me show you the closets. I almost forgot about that. It's a pretty dramatic change. There's my side. It, like, look, there's the middle <laughs> of the thing, so it's not like spilling over onto this. I really like these um, pants. There's my husband's side with the jeans on it. His also has a lot more room. And I can put all of his pants on here before if I put his pants they would come way over like into this area. So now all of his pants fit. Um, I've still got his work pants in the dryer but there's still room for them so yeah. The closet, it looks a lot better. I'm all wheezy from kicking up all the dust. <clears throat> so yeah. Now I just, I need to reorganize my scarves. I put them right here for right now. But once they're organized and back in there, I think they'll look a lot better. All in all, I am pretty pleased with the way this room turned out. Got a lot of deep cleaning so it doesn't look... It, it's not just like surface clean anymore. It's pretty deep cleaned. I think my um, breathing issues will go away now that all that dust is gone. And once I get the air filter filter so I can 
run it again, it will be awesome. So, anyway, I am done with this video. Hopefully it's not too long. I will see you all later. Peace out. Bye.